All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Planet Crafter. This is the last episode, final episode, episode 48. And today we're going to be doing two endings of the game. So an interesting thing happened uh, last time after I... Uh, um, after I ended last episode, uh, the game crashed right after. And it put me back into the portal. <laughs> so the portal is still open right now. Uh, I've done put everything back up and um, put to get the stuff back for the inventory. I had to wait another like 30 seconds or so for the thing to complete to get the extraction platform back. Okay. So I did save. I did when in between this episode and the last episode back up my save just in case something happens and i backed it up as soon as i got the extraction platform unlocked and got all this stuff in my inventory so we'll be just like right here if we need to all right so what we're going to do is we're going to make the extraction platform and see what happens first so we have it like right here uh i'm going to want i don't know maybe I don't know if I need two or one. Uh, it's a little bit big, isn't it? These interference levels detected. Please destroy interference source to be able to receive extraction. Okay, seven eighteen forty three two two six nine. And this is the container. Okay, so we're going to be doing. I knew about this coming, uh, and I know what it's referring to. Um, but we're going to be doing a different ending first. Um. The first ending we're going to do is we're going to do the one where we don't have to destroy what it's asking for. We're going to go see what we can do here. We need the keys. And we need to put them off in there. Um, so if we go to here... Okay, it's not in here. I thought it would be in here, but apparently not. Okay, well, I know it needs the keys here. Don't know how many keys it needs. I don't remember. But we'll do it. We'll accept you. Yep. So here we go. Everybody ready for the first ending? Subversion. 
Flee the planet with the wardens. There we go. To those who follow us, know that our destiny is that of doom. Do I have to click? I might have to click. Nope. But some of us still believe that giving up is not an option. We shall see what Providence has in store for us. A warden. Planet Crafter. And here roll the credits. I'm going to let the credits play out this once. Nope. Nope. <laughs> guess not. I guess that is the credits. Wow. Okay. Wasn't it was I was expecting there? All right, let's load her back up and see where we are. We're right here. And we got all of our keys back. Okay, so it saved us right there like it's supposed to. Great. I'm going to save my game again just in case. <laughs> case I crash. Okay, that was ending one. We went and followed the wardens right there. All right, so our next ending is we have to destroy... The object that it's talking about. Location 718. 718 43 2269. That's that thing. I'm trying to remember which area that is. Is that the one over there at the Super Alloy Cave, or is that a different one? Let's go check the Super Alloy Cave one first. I can't remember off the top of my head which one that is. We'll just teleport over to the Super Alloy and go through that one real quick, because it's either the Super Alloy one, or it's the other one that I found first. It's not going to be the one with the paradise area. Uh, Mushroom Cave is the other one I was thinking of. That's right. So is it's either this one or the Mushroom Cave one. I can't remember which. Okay, this one just goes to this. Which is my the where we picked up the key. One of the keys. Okay. What's this over here? This is this area. Okay. In here? No, it's got to, it's it's the floating orb thing, but I cannot remember for the life of me where that is. I th it's got to be the mushroom and it's not this one. I don't think it is anyway. I think it's the mushroom cave one. We'll go to the mushroom cave one. I think this one isn't this one the one with the spaceship in it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the mushroom cave one with the floating orb thing, right? Or was that it? Because it was like 718 and we're like we were like at 700s. So I don't know. It could be in there and I'm just misremembering. But I could have swore this one was off in the floating orb thing is what I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure. So let's head on back and see.
Um, teleport us over to Obsidian. I think is going to be the closest area. Oh. Well, before we do that, let me go back to base and grab some water and some food. I want to say it's that one. The mushroom cave one. Uh, actually, the easiest way. The easiest way. Go to Osmium. I know I know the exact way to go to get there from here. The obsidian cave might be closer, but I think I know the easiest way to get there from here. Now it's this one, right? Uh, I don't remember if it's to be the right one or the left one. No. This is the one with the spaceship. Oh, okay. So maybe it was the other one. I thought the I thought this one was the one with the orb and the other one was the one with the spaceship. I was incorrect on that. Yeah. Okay. So I was incorrect for that one. All right. No problem. I was, I just couldn't remember for the life of me. Y'all were probably screaming at me, which one it was <laughs> that I was in the correct place earlier. Yeah. That's just, this is me. Oh, wait, it's up here. Isn't it the way out to the mushroom compartments? Yeah. Just head over to the Osmium area and uh, head back to the Super Alloy area. I just, I'm pretty sure it's not, you don't destroy it with explosives because explosives weren't in the game when this was made. Explosives only recently came into the game. So it's not, you're not going to be destroying this thing with explosives. I don't, I don't know how you would be destroying it. Do you actually just go up to it and click on it? Or what? I don't remember. I can't, I can't remember what I read about it. Uh, it's going to be this right one here. I just, I'm going to have to find out where I need to go in here because I can't remember for the life of me now. Um, Not in there. Is it over here? It's not there. Here we go. Is this it? Yeah, this is it, isn't it? So how do we destroy this? I don't remember. But this is the thing we have to destroy, I'm pretty sure, right? Wanted me to go like 718 or something? I don't know. I'm really confused right now. I knew this would be one of the most confusing ones. The other ones are easier. You just have to put stuff off into the... Uh, um, 
the storage deal to, to trigger their endings. But this one's the one that's what's going to confuse me, I know. I might have to look this up on the wiki because I cannot remember for the life of me. This way. Yeah. There we go. So let's go back to base and check on that message screen again. It's the only way I'm really going to figure it out. Alright, let me save the game just to make sure. Seven eighteen forty three two two six nine. So how would this work? How would we destroy this thing? Because like I said, well, there's a message. What's a message from? Large explosive device. Okay, there it is. That the conditions on your planet should ensure wild larvae on the surface. Uh, no, that's not what we're looking for. There it is. This is not an automated message. <laughs> That's a freaking lie. Okay. Yeah, tip, chip to find the 10 hidden keys. Yeah. All right. So we need to make the uh, device. Is that made off in here or is that made upstairs and the other thing? It looks like it's made upstairs in the bio lab. No. Oh, we make it in here. Interesting. Okay. So we're going to need to make this thing. So we're going to need another energy fusion deal. We're going to need a chip, two explosive powder, uh, three explosive powder, actually. Okay. Well, we can get that. No problem. Have that automated. Um, one uranium rod and three iridium rods. I'm pretty sure it's that freaking orb. It's got to be. 718-43-2269. Yeah, it's got to be it. Okay, I'm going to save it right here. And let's go to the alloy cave. Now for the third ending, we need a we need to wait a little bit longer. We need to get a message from Riley. I don't think it happens until like 5.25 TI. I think it's when we get the message from Riley. This one I don't mind looking up. This is the one from Riley 
is the grind. You have to have a certain amount of something. And I'll tell you all about it once we get to the point where I, uh, where we finish this one ending here. I think it's 525 TI. It could be 520 TI. But this right here, this is what we need to destroy, right? Bingo. I don't know if this is doing anything or not. I can't tell. Oh, there it comes down. Yep. That's what we needed to do. <laughs> okay. All right. So we got that part done. We have destroyed our ball that was preventing us from doing things. We go down here, we hop over this, and let's go. And we should be able to just extract now. I'm going to turn that off. Also, I'm going to save, just in case. Hopefully that save doesn't screw anything up. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, after we do this ending, we'll look at the, I'll look at the wiki and I'll see what I would need to do to do the last one. I'm if I remember correctly, it's just a ridiculous amount of something I need to get out to do the last ending. And I'm kind of not wanting to do that right now. That's why I figured I'd save it for later. All right, here we go. Let's go do an extraction here. And leave the planet, place of faith in the hands of Sentinel Corp. Here we go. Subjection. There you go. Big ass ship in it. Congratulations, you have successfully terraformed this planet. We would now re examine your sentence based on the various deviations from the rules that could be attributed to you. For the moment, you will remain in detention while your case is examined, Sentinel Corp. Planet Crafter. Miju Games. All right, let's go back in. All right, so we get that. You save here. So according to the wiki, let's just go to the wiki and look here. Uh, 
Okay, so these are spoilers in case you don't want to know the last ending. Just don't don't listen to this part. Just it's it. Thank you for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed, but I'm going to talk about the last ending here. All right. To win the game, player must reach stage five TTI, build an extraction platform. Receive a message from the Sentinel Corp, including a recipe for large explosive device at 5.05 TTI. Blow up the giant orb in the ancient city that prevents the player from leaving the planet unless they plan to leave the planet with the help of the Wardens. Fulfill certain criteria to be able to choose from the endings below. Choose one of the endings. Note that an automatic save game is generated before the end sequence begins, allowing the player to select a different ending or decide tonight to end it, or decide not to end it at all. You could just keep playing. Um, so there are three possible ways to end the game. The first one is subjection, which is to leave the planet with the Sentinel Corpse. The next one is the one where we did subversion, leave the planet with the Warden Portals. Got to put gather 10 keys, put them into the locker of the extraction platform. It is not necessary to destroy the orb in the ancient city for this. And here's the last one. Subservience. Leave the planet with the smugglers. Receive a message from Riley that they have engranged the player's rescue from the planet at 5.1 TTI. So we got to get to 5.1. Have at least 250,000 Terra Tokens on the account. Put five Solar Quartz into the locker of the Extraction Platform. Yeah. That's why I've chose not to do that ending right now. We would have to play so much more. We just recently... What, what, episode 41... 42, something like that. We got to 100,000. We would have to get 150,000 more Terra tokens to do this. We we got a bunch doing that portal right before this end, last, right in last episode. We got like 10, 15,000. And we didn't even finish exploring everything. But still, that's 10, 15,000 per portal. That would be 20... No. Um, to get, I'm going to bring up my calculator. So for 150,000, let's just ballpark it and say we would get 10,000 per portal. We would have to do 15 portals. We also have the 625 Terra tokens per locket rots that we're doing. And that's the most expensive item we can send out. There's two, there's two items that give you the most Terra tokens. The, the Pulsar Quartz that we're sending out and the Circuit Boards. Those are the two most expensive items where you can send out. And you only get that much, 625 for, per rocket launch. Um, so 150,000 divided by 625 would be 240 rocket launches. Now, we would be combining those together. So, let's say 12. 12 rocket launches at most. I mean, 12 portals. 12 portal runs at most. That's if we get 10,000. I've gone through and gotten a lot less. I, I'm not interested in that type of grind right now. So... That's going to be the end of this series. It was, <laughs> like I said last episode, this was a blast. I had, I had so much fun. This was so much fun. Um, yeah, I had so much fun uh, getting this and things like this. This was, this was, this was really, really fun. So, yeah, I'm going to say that's it. Maybe what? Maybe one day, I don't know when, maybe one day we'll come back and do the third ending. Maybe one day we'll come back and do the third ending. It's just, it's just a really big grind. And I'm kind of just not wanting that right now. So, yeah. 
So I want to thank everybody for watching who enjoyed this series. I hope y'all had fun. I had, like I said, I had a blast. This was, this was one of the most fun things I've ever played in my life. This was nice. It was relaxing. There were a couple of hiccups here and there, as you know, but it was fun. It, overall, I cannot recommend this game enough. Um, let me go ahead and save right now and let me go out. I want to look how many hours we put into this because I only started playing this when I made the series. I've launched the game to adjust the volume levels before. That was maybe five minutes. I have on record from Steam 60 hours. It took me 60 hours to play this game, which isn't bad. That's that's a game, you know, 40 to 60 hours is usually a game length nowadays. Oh, that was. That was really, really fun. I had a lot of fun. I hope I hope y'all did, too. Like I said before, um. Yeah, this, mm, I just can't, I just can't get over it. It was great. There was so much there. So I want like I said, thank everybody for watching. Yeah, everybody. Uh, I got a lot of subscribers during this course of this series. Um, I'm at 223 subscribers. I think I was at like round 198, 200 or something when I first started this series. Um, got 2.8k views, uh, 149.1 arch hours, um, and things like that. So yeah, that was, that was really fun. Uh, this, this was a great, um, so what's next? Uh, what's next is probably going to be a new series. Um, when stable comes out for seven days to die i i'm leaning towards seven days to die instead of uh project sophia a uh, project zomboid sophia collection i just i'm just leaning more towards seven days to die i think i'll have i think i'll play that more i want to play that more so i want to thank everybody for watching i hope y'all enjoyed planet crafter we'll be back eventually maybe to get that third and last achievement y'all have a nice time whatever time it is in y'all's part of the world bye